The car boot sale is back on. I am excited we have a thrifty haul for you this week. Welcome to Jewelry Rescue. If you are new here, I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. So we've had half term this week here in the UK. My kids have been off school and I did manage to hop into a couple of charity shops with them. And I also escaped to the car boot sale yesterday on my own and I have a really nice haul to show you. So first of all, I went to see the lovely silver and gold dealer who I bought this from before Christmas. If you haven't seen that whole video, I'll drop a link in the description so that you can check that one out later. I bought three pieces for him for myself. The first one being this beautiful agate ring. It's a really unusual colour. If you look at it up close, it's got some lovely banding in it. It's kind of the colour of a shell but it's definitely a gemstone and it's got a beautiful set of hallmarks inside and that was just five pounds and it's perfect on my little finger. Then he very kindly offered to polish out the scratches that were on some of the silver sections of this bracelet for me and so I had to wait for that and whilst I was waiting I kept spotting other things, one of which was this gorgeous ring. So this is opal in the centre and emeralds around the outside. It's hallmarked sterling silver, so it's gold plated over silver. It has lost a little bit of its plating on the back, but he only wanted 10 pounds for it, and it is just so pretty. I loved it there next to my wedding ring. And so I think that might be my present for Mother's Day, but I've hung on to it just to show you before it gets put away. Then whilst I was waiting for him to finish up doing the bracelet, he pointed out that this one would go really nicely with my daisy, which I wear pretty much every day. And I put it on my finger and look what happened. So that one was only three pounds and that is by Daisy London and it's sterling silver. I've seen that that's gold plating in there, but it's not a current ring in their range. So I couldn't find it out. So very happy with that little ring haul. Then I went to a stall that has uh, basically a whole table. It's, it's like one of my unboxing videos, but it's a whole pasting table just covered in costume jewellery. And I found a Michaela Frey in there last time, some cool rings. So I picked up five more rings. Their rings are a pound each and they're all costume. This one, I think, is probably 60s or 70s probably 70s, had some similar rings in my unboxing last week. And this is glass, it's adjustable. And for a pound, I bought that to go into my cabinet I have in the antique center. This one is a really lovely cocktail ring. It's costume again. It does have a little marking at the bottom. Let me just see if I can see what that says. So I can see it says 18K and then it's got four initials. It's not GP for gold plated. I can't read what it says, but it's definitely not a solid gold piece. I can see where it's been plated at the bottom of the band. But it's really pretty. And for a pound, you can't really go wrong, can you? Then this is quite sad. I picked this one up for myself. It's just a base metal that's been plated and it, it was fine, but I tried to adjust it when I got home and it snapped off. So I can glue that back together. I'll just do that with a bit of jeweler's glue. It's an adjustable gold tone and a nice piece of agate. And it looks really pretty next to the, the new pinky ring. So I'll fix that one up. Now this car boot sale, it was pouring with rain yesterday and it's February, so it's cold and horrible here in the UK. But this is in a car park and the lighting is strip lighting in some parts of the car park, but not in the rest. And this stall is in almost complete darkness and it's really impossible to see. This one I thought might be silver when I saw it in the tray, but as soon as I got out to the car and had a look at it, I could see that it wasn't. Um, but it's fun. It's a... Uh, kind of modernist style but I think it's probably 90s or noughties costume jewellery but again for a pound there's definitely a little bit of profit in there and this one which I don't know if it's a crown or if it's just a shape or if it's symbolic of something let me know in the comments if you know and it's just plastic but it's fun again for a pound I thought somebody would like it 
And then on the same stall, I had a good old rummage in the mixed lot on the table. This is where I found the multi-chain necklace that I posted in my shorts last week. And I found these cloisonne enamel earrings. They have sadly lost a bit of plating, but they'll just go on to fresh hooks and I'll probably put them into one of my retail shops so that they can see the plating rather than in my Etsy shop. And I picked up this, which was probably an earring, and I'll make that into a pendant to go on a necklace. And then with this one, I paid it for the three. I paid £2.50 as a little bundle. This I thought was just stunning. Costume brooch and sadly has lost its bar there. But my plan is to attach a chain and make it into a pendant because it's just, I think it's just so pretty and unusual. Somebody will really love that. So keep an eye on my shorts to see what I do with that one. I also picked up this agate classic 70s pendant. I sell these all the time in my retail stores and that was 50p. So I just need to pop that onto a vintage chain. And then I've got some charity shop bits to show you as well, but let me show you this big lot I got from the car boot. Before I do that, look at this curious object. So I paid 10p for this. And at first I thought it was an earring stand and then I realised that the holes are too far apart and I wasn't really quite sure what it was, but the lady said it was 10p. So I thought that I would take it and use it to hang earrings off because it will make a cool photo prop or perhaps go into the cabinet at the antique centre with some earrings hanging on it. Having done a Google lens search on it, it looks like it would have had little swords. Um, there would be toothpicks shaped like swords that would go through and then you'd have it on your table. I thought it was cool for 10p. And then I also got hand mirror. And before I turn it over, I will warn you, it's really grim on the back. It needs a really, really good clean. So it has this interesting design on the back with some, I think they're glass cabochons the faux turquoise and it's filthy it's disgusting um, I need to do a proper clean of it but it was 50p and I thought once that's been fully cleaned and obviously antibacterially sterilized and everything that will be quite nice to have as a hand mirror when I have the odd stall here and there for people to look at what they're trying on Okay, so there was another store, I think it was probably a house clearance guy, and he had a table of costume jewellery just all lumped in together as well. And I bought an initial handful of things from him for £4. And then whilst I was waiting for my bracelet to be finished, I went back around again and he changed the selection on the table and I bought another load of bits. So I spent £7 with him in total and I've got a whole bag full. So let's see what's in there. So the first thing I picked up was this interesting bracelet and it feels like it might be steel. It's quite heavy. It doesn't actually have a clasp on the end and it's quite small and I have these teeny little wrists and he wasn't asking very much money. So that fits me perfectly. So I thought I would pick that up potentially for myself to wear stacked with silver bracelets. But then when I went back the second time round, curiously, I found this and this which are larger pieces and he said they were earrings because this one does actually open up and that does look like an earring but it's a very thick post here and this one doesn't open up and it's too big for the chain <laughs> it's much bigger than these bits i thought initially that perhaps these were clasps or extra links to go on here but I'd already popped this back in the car with some other heavier bits that I bought and so I didn't have it to compare and you can see they're much bigger so now I look at it I wonder whether this is an earring and perhaps this goes inside it like that and maybe they were a set but I couldn't find the other earring and because this guy was just dumping stuff out on the table randomly. He presumably would have that other earring in another set. So anyway, I'll have a play around with those. I'm sure I can make something or use them as extra weeks. Then I found this cute little earring again, didn't manage to find its mate, sadly, but I thought it would make a fun either um, a pendant or a charm. I've been collecting turquoise 
Pantone charms to make a charm bracelet. So it could end up with that. It's brass and it's got turquoise and possibly coral. It's got that kind of, I was going to say southwestern, but actually maybe it looks a bit more Indian. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's a real shame I couldn't find the other one. It's on a silver hook, I think, as well. So somebody would have enjoyed wearing those. But anyway, I'll do something with that. I found this curious little tile, which I thought would make a nice photo prop for rings, or it could go into one of my displays to have something on. This little ring, which I took a chance on again, I was in a dark section of the car boot. I wondered if it could possibly be silver. It might be actually, let me have a look with the magnet. It's not magnetic. Just looking to see if there's any marks on it. No, I can't see any marks on it, but it does have the look and feel of silver. So that one will need to be tested. If you can focus away, there you go. I'll show you what I can next. Look at this necklace. Now this is a Marks and Spencers one, uh, but it reminded me of Pools of Light. It's plastic. But it's just so fun. I thought it was eye-catching enough that it probably would go if I list it over on eBay. It's obviously not a vintage one, it's a modern one. But I thought that was fun. And then I also picked up this one, which is a plastic, it's a kind of faux amber. Look at it catching the light there. Every time I list faux amber, it gets snapped up. So that one will go onto eBay. And then this one has a sterling silver clasp, which was what attracted me to it. Just needs a little polish. And then we've got some opalite glass, some freshwater pearls. There's a few little gemstones in there. There's these little silk roses. There's a bit of shell on the focal. I just thought it's not my style, but I just thought somebody will really like that. And so I paid seven pounds for this whole bag. So it was a bargain, really. I picked up this single earring. Didn't manage to find the other one, but I'm going to make a pair of new hoop earrings out of the bits. This is an interesting one. This has got quite a nice quality costume chain. And it's just curious. I've never seen anything quite like this before. I think it's plastic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's plastic. But I wondered whether I could make a pair of really long statement earrings out of this section. Or I could make some smaller ones. I could do an asymmetric pair out of these. Again, I knew this was pennies and I just thought that'd be fun to work with. It's a memory wire bracelet. And this has got some really pretty glass beads here that have... A bit of iridescence in them and then this i think is labradorite what's this darker stuff i'm not sure what that is a brown quartz maybe mind you having said that this is labradorite it's not flashing is it as i say it was very dark in there perhaps it's all just quartz let me know in the comments but anyway i'm going to take the beads off of that and use them for other projects This, I can't remember what this M stands for. So again, please shout at me in the comments. If you know, save me a Google. As you can hear, these are really lovely gemstones and I'll probably make bracelets out of these. This is an interesting piece. So it's a St. Christopher and on the back it says SOS Talisman. And then you can turn this. It's like the back of a watch. I don't know. It's not something, some, I don't know, some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen one of those. Again, I'm yet to Google it. And um, yeah, just interesting, interesting piece. Then I picked up this 
JJ bracelet. I can never remember what the JJ stands for. I have to Google it every time, but I've had loads of these in in the past. And I just picked it up because it was cute and it had the B on. And again, I knew it wasn't going to cost much. I thought maybe one of my girls might like it or it'll go into one of my pre-loved boxes in the shops. And then I suspect the owner of that one was probably the owner of this one, which again has a B on it. But this one is actually marked 925 on the back on there. So I'm assuming these are silver as well. And this is tarnish. Oh, having said that, though, I think I can maybe see a bit of copper coming through there. So we shall have to see. But that could come off and go on to something else anyway. This heart's necklace has got some interesting shaped hearts on it. And I was thinking that I can make earrings out of these. There's two colours and then put that one onto a fresh chain because this chain is all degraded and we've got some verdigris on the clasp there. And then this obviously, this looks like it's never been used. Pottering shed beads. They've got a website and things, so I need to look that up. And these are, I think they're ceramic. They're either ceramic or glass. If it's a pottering shed, then I'm assuming that they're ceramic. But I'm not entirely sure. I need to look this one up. I just thought those beads were lovely. And it's absolutely brand new. The things that people throw away at these things, one man's trash and all that. So that's my car boot bits. I also got some storage and a couple of tools and things. But last week, as I mentioned, I did the charities. So I just popped into, I think, two with my daughters when we were sort of waiting for other things. And then on Friday morning, they were doing a workshop. And so I had a really happy half an hour by myself in the charities and got a few more bits. So I picked up, well, let me just take off the gift aid. I picked up these ones, which may be silver. I haven't looked at them in too much detail. Um, I think these are probably a malachite. I don't know. They could be plastic. It's quite hard to tell. No, I think they're plastic, actually, to look like malachite. They're green with a little bit of red in them. Uh, they were just one ninety nine. 99 bit of fun. And look at these. So I have a little collection of painted wooden bird earrings and I just couldn't resist these. I don't know yet whether I'll keep them or whether I'll list them. They were £4.49. Um, I may list them and then if they don't sell, pop them with my collection. So I went and picked up a bag of broken bits from the shop where we found the Egyptian beads a long time ago. I haven't been there for ages and I've picked up a lovely big bag full of broken bits, which we will go through in another video. But I couldn't resist picking these up. So first of all, there's this filigree bracelet it has the same turquoise colour glass in it that that mirror does. And I could find out frustratingly little from Googling this. Again, it's a tiny one and it fits me perfectly. It's a bit dainty for my style, though, so it might go in the cabinet in the antique centre. We shall see. There's no silver markings on it, so I can't tell if it's tarnished or if it's plating gloss. If you know anything about this style of jewellery, please let me know, because I've got a few pieces now and I can't really tell where they're from or what age they are. This has obviously got a decent amount of age to it. That was two pounds. And then also for two pounds, you may have seen this in my shorts. I picked up this Lynx of London Sweetie Drops bracelet. This is on a cord. The cord is in really good condition. It's just a tiny little bit of dirt on the knots. But I wonder if it's just been sitting in somebody's jewellery box. It was a bit tarnished and I just cleaned it with a polishing cloth. This star, I can't tell if it's a Lynx and London star. There's no markings on it. So again, please let me know in the comments if you know whether these are marked. But I do believe it is a genuine Lynx of London, comparing it to other ones online. It seems to be um, a lesser known bracelet style. This is called a Sweetie Core, apparently, this bead here. And then it's got the Lynx logo and the 95 on there as well. Lynx of London is quite widely faked. I've had an Inks of London in a, in a previous unboxing, but this one I'm confident 
is the real deal. Um, that was £2, so that one will be listed as well. Now, you may have seen that I did a Come Thrift With Me video in a town called Alton a few weeks ago, and I mentioned a lovely shop there, which I hadn't realised did jewellery before. They're called Resurrection Furniture. And I went back in there and I, and I did confess that I had mentioned them in one of my videos, and they kind, kindly gave me an extra couple of pieces as well to work with. So the first thing I picked up in there was this amazing statement necklace. It's a vintage one. I don't know the age of it, maybe possibly a 60s one. There's no clues as to who it's by on there. I haven't done a, a Google on it yet, so I will do that and see if I can find anything out. Again, if you know anything about it, let me know in the comments. That was one pound and I just thought it was really cool. So I had to have that one. Then the other thing I picked up in the pound basket was this beautiful child's bracelet. Or I suppose it could just be for a really tiny, tiny person, but it doesn't fit on my hand. I think this is brass here and it's probably been dipped in gold on the top here because we've got some sparkly bits. It needs a really good clean. So I'm quite looking forward to that transformation. So I will probably do a short on that if I manage to clean it up. Hopefully I can get it sparkling again. That was a pound. I just thought I like the challenge, the idea of cleaning it up. I thought that was really pretty then they had a 10p basket of skinny bangles and if you've watched me before you probably know that I collect brass bangles I like to have an armful of those especially in the summer don't wear them on my videos because they make too much noise um, but again I enjoy cleaning those up and stacking them up together so I got that one for 10p and then this one which is definitely a costume bangle but this charm here has got a real heavy feel to it and I just bought it on the off chance that it could be silver. Looking at it again now, I don't think it is. I think it's been silver dipped because it is quite heavy. It's probably a base metal in there, but I'm going to put that onto a chain and make it into a pendant necklace. And then when I fessed up about my video, they sent me back and said, pick another couple of things to work with. And I had looked at this one now, these have cropped up since the Victorian times, this belt shape. They had a resurgence again, I think in the 60s, and my grandma had one, which I've now got. This one feels more modern than 60s. I think it's probably a you know, modern costume jewellery to look like an older one. But again, shout at me if you think I'm wrong. It's completely bent out of shape. So I just picked this one up, hoping that I can hammer that back into shape and restore it to being wearable again. And then... I just picked up this one for these cute little beads, which will become hoop earrings for the summer. So that's my haul. I spent very little and I think you'll agree I got quite a lot. What was your favourite piece? Was it one of my lovely rings or was it something beaded or something else? Let me know in the comments. I will pop some more videos up for you to watch. And um, it, of course, if you haven't checked out the channel, please do hit subscribe, hit the bell and I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.